An Adelaide council has been criticised for moving too slowly to cut down a dangerous tree. A giant limb from the tree fell and crushed a car this morning. Locals say it's lucky no one was killed. A crushing blow from a giant tree limb. But fortunately, Kirsty Butler had parked her car on William Street at Norwood and set off for work two hours before. Very lucky, yes. Yeah, very pleased though. Went to work. While Ms Butler could see the funny side... It's a bit more convertible now than it was this morning. <laughs> the owner of the house the decayed river redgum fell from wasn't impressed. She presented an arborist report to the Norwood and St Peter's Council last month, recommending the 200-year-old significant tree be removed, deeming it an unacceptable risk of harm. Jeepers, you know, why... Did this happen? This should never have happened. The expert report states the previous homeowner was warned about the danger as early as 2008, but had chosen to prune it rather than remove it completely. The council has told Nine News the timing of the fall is unfortunate, as formal approval to remove the tree was due to be granted today. In 2010, a tree on Greenhill Road fell on a passing car, killing its driver, 20-year-old Rebecca Jolly. A coronial inquest found Burnside Council had been warned about the tree and Ms Jolly's death could have been prevented. There's just some logic that's got to take over here. While the question of who's liable is yet to be answered, Mrs Duncan says what's left of the tree will be removed as a matter of urgency. Kim Robertson, Nine News.